There's the handoff, and it is Percy Ajay Obasay who gets free, and he just is tip tripped up as he goes across the 30 down to the 29 yard line. Here they all come, and Danucci right up the middle as they read it perfectly. There's Danucci to the 10, and he's going to dive forward up to the 6-yard line. A tremendous call by the JMU offensive coordinator. And goal. He's going to pass it. Danucci, he's got a man open. It's a touchdown. Riley Stapleton with the catch. They use his height to their advantage. For the Wildcats from the 21, make it a 31, and it is blocked. D'Angelo Amos blocked the football, picked up by... Rashard Robinson and the Dukes, they've got the football at their own 38-yard line. It was D'Angelo Amos, known for his punt returns, who streaks through and makes the big block. Play action pass this time, going deep. He's got a man open. It is caught, and it is a touchdown. Charles Tutt could not keep up with Changa Hodge. Dukes have four receivers in the pattern and a man back to the block and that is a beautiful catch over the shoulder Jake Brown with the reception for the Dukes Dukes go right back to the line of scrimmage going to float it up again this is Polk Polk making an adjustment he makes no he drops the football he had it in one hand couldn't pull it in as he ends up on the Zane Shoker field lettering Danucci snaps throws Stapleton touchdown Stapleton with his second touchdown reception of the day, and again his size comes into play. Second time, actually, Dukes uh, shut them out last year in Villanova, 37-0. Swing pass out here to Juwan Hamilton. Hamilton, a satellite, he's got some space to work with. Stays on his feet up to the 40, and down at the 42-yard line, picks up the first down and more. All right, Boykin will backpedal all the way to the one-yard line. He's going to try to take it up the sideline, and he is dropped shy of the 20. Hick, here comes the split from the outside, and it's down by Daka. Actually came from the defensive end. He got there so fast, I thought he was blitzing off the edge. They're going to go for the end zone, and that is caught, brought in, as Hodge has his second touchdown reception of the afternoon, and Villanova has its first lead of the day. Danucci pumps, looks. Throws, and he's got Kendall Dean. Watches it come in, and Dean picks up the first down. And flags come in from all over the neighborhood. Elijah Trent. Danucci stands tall. Now he's going to get away. Got to watch. Keep hanging on to that football for Ben. Rolls out. Throws. Got a man open. It is caught. Not good enough for the first down. It comes about two yards shy. And Villanova has just done so. They'll start it. And here comes the ball is loose. And it looks like JMU may have recovered. They have. The Dukes have it at the 39-yard line of Villanova. So they, they're putting him in now. He's kind of a downhill runner. And there he goes. Look at Lishrell. Palmer bounces out to the outside. Look at that stop and go. And he picks up the first down. Polk comes closer to the line. Taking the handoff. Now he's going to throw it. Wide open is Polk. Polk streaking to the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison University. Streamers fly, and the Dukes are within a point of tying this one up. And this game probably has a good inside track, quite obviously. To the CA, and that's intercepted. Picked off MJ Hampton. Hampton to the 50. Turns it inside. He's at the 40. Gets a good block. Can he outrace the rest of them? All the way to the end zone. Touchdown on the interception return. MJ Hampton. Trips to the near side, which is the open side of the field. Barley, here comes the blitz. Barley picks it up. Ball was into the air and intercepted once again. No, incomplete as it falls to the turf. Palmer again. He misses, makes the tackle miss, and he's up to the 50, to the 40, to the 30, on his way to the house, to the 10. Cuts it back. Touchdown, Latrell Palmer.